Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25276. Microsoft released another build for the dev channel today, a build that has a lot of news, a lot of new features, a lot of changes. So stay tuned because in this video, we're going to talk about all there is to this build. Before going into anything, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. And before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. HitPaw Video Converter is a 120 times faster video converter that has a lot of useful functions. One of the most useful functions is the video slash image compressor. Go into the toolbox section and select video and image compressor. Next step would be to add the video and select the level of compression that you want. You can compress individual videos or all at the same time by clicking on compress. The exported video will have a significant smaller size with minimal quality. Loss. You can try HitPaw Video Converter for free by downloading it from the links below in the video's description. Let's continue with the video. For this build, Microsoft is also releasing an ISO, so you can get that ISO from the official Microsoft website. Just go into the link from the article in the description below, select the edition, for example, the latest version, click on confirm, then you just need to select the product language, English, United States, and then on, you can download Windows 11 build 25276 from the official Microsoft website. One of the biggest features that Microsoft worked on and they released it in this new build is the live kernel memory dumps and, and task manager. So if you now go into the task manager into the details tab, you can right click on a process and then click on create memory dump file and the file will be successfully created and located at the default location. Basically, this new feature is a new developer focused feature that will help developers and this can help you gather data to troubleshoot an abnormal situation but allow the OS to continue its operation, which is pretty good. And of course, you can click on open file location and see the dump, or you can go into the settings section and you're going to have here other options for the live kernel memory dump options. As you can see, you have a board if insufficient memory, create hypervisor pages, and a capture user pages. Well, this is a feature that is slowly rolling out to Windows 11 in the dev channel, but if you want, I can make a separate video in which I show you how to enable this. Microsoft also introduced some updates to the cloud storage and settings for Windows 11, basically more info, options that you can use. If you want to see how to enable that, if you don't have it enabled on your computer, you can check a video that I did previously about that, and maybe I'm gonna link it in the description below. Another new thing in this build is that Microsoft updated the dialog that shows when an app has a known compatibility issue to use the Windows 11 design. And you're gonna see a screenshot, of course, and you can see Program Compatibility Assistant. This app can't run on this device. A security setting is preventing this app from running. You'll need to adjust your settings to run this app. I think this is pretty cool. Regarding Windows security, Microsoft is temporarily disabling the updated Windows security firewall notification dialog that matches the Windows 11 visuals, and that will be reintroduced in a future flight after addressing some bugs. Well, you can manually enable that if you want, and again, if you want a video on how to enable that manually, you can let me know in the comments and I can make a video because right now it is a hidden feature. And also, Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 25,267 and later pro editions no longer allow a user to connect to a remote share by using guest credentials by default, even if the remote server requests guest credentials. This matches the stronger security of the enterprise and education editions that's been in place since Windows 10 to further improve Windows 11 default security. Also, another huge thing for Apple users in this build is that previews of the Apple Music, Apple TV, and Apple Devices apps are available in the Microsoft Store on Windows 11, limited to US for now. So if you are from the US, you will be able to use the Apple Music, Apple TV, and Apple Devices apps in Windows 11. Also, Microsoft is replacing the network troubleshooter in the OS with a new network connectivity troubleshooting experience through the Get Help app. And of course, to use the new experience, you're going to have to update the Get Help app. You're going to need to open up the Microsoft Store, of course, go into Library, and then click on Get Updates. You should normally get the update, but if you don't receive it, you're going to have to wait until you get it because maybe this is slowly rolling out. Either way, you're going to see a screenshot on the screen on how this new experience works. And if you want to see more info about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Now let's talk about some fixes in this build. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where switching windows through taskbar previews wasn't working. They fixed multiple explorer.exe crashes affecting the system tray. And also when opening a flyout from the taskbar, pressing the escape key to close the flyout could now return keyboard focus to the button it was invoked from. Also regarding the search on the taskbar, 
before they fixed the layout issues with the text in the search box on taskbar when using right to left display languages like Arabic and they also fixed an issue where the selected search style in taskbar settings wasn't persisting across updates. This setting should persist now on subsequent insider preview build upgrades. Regarding the file explorer, they fixed an explorer.exe crash which could happen when opening file explorer related to loading your recent files. Regarding widgets, they fixed an issue where the widgets board will get stuck open in a visible state for insiders in China and potentially others causing clicks on the left side of the screen to not work. If you are continuing to experience this, please make sure to check the Microsoft Store for the latest app updates. Also to improve clarity, when Windows Defender Credential Guard is enabled, when attempting to use remote desktop with default credentials, it will now explicitly say Windows Defender Credential Guard does not allow using Windows Logon, logon credentials. Please enter your credentials. Basically, this is all there is to it in this bit. I think this is a pretty interesting build. Don't forget to check out more info about known issues in the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.